guys, welcome back to another build video. This is my latest gank build, the Death's Fiend, which is a 9k weapon damage, crazy gank, super high damage, absolutely annihilates players. So let's get straight into these sets. So the first set we're running is the Oak Fathers, uh, two maces, Nern owned, weapon damage, lame. It just basically gives you a ton of weapon and spell damage and penetration. Back bar is a random two-handed, ideally defending or healing. We've got the Anthemir's Construct, the monster set, the best monster set in the game for ganking. When you do a heavy attack, it's going to do a ton of physical damage and grant you some uh, armor reduction as well against the enemy. It's Light Divines. Next set we're running is the Nyx Hounds. When you do a heavy attack, it's going to give you major courage, basically a ton of weapon and spell damage. It's a medium set. Shoulders are medium. Running two lights and all the rest medium. All max magicka, all divines. And the jewellery is all infused with the weapon damage enchantments. So now we'll get into these skills. Running Merciless Resolve, Shrewd Offering, Whirling Blades, Killer's Blade, Camouflaged Hunter for the Major Savagery, Incapacitating Strike, Temporal Guard, Shadowy Disguise, Forward Momentum, Race Against Time, Shrewd Offering, and Resolving Vigor. Have all your passives in your three class lines, your two-handed and dual wield, light and medium armor, in your vampire as well, fighter's guild, sigic order, and undaunted assault and support line, and your race, I'm a Khajiit, and medicinal use. So we've got all 64 points into magicka. Running Bewitched Sugar Skulls, the Mundus is the Warrior, Vampire Stage 3, or Stage 2 at a minimum. Running Fight and Finesse, Master at Arms, Deadly Aim and Backstabber for the CP. So we'll just quickly buff up, show you some numbers. It was at 8,600 weapon damage. With continuous, it's going to be well over 9k. So you just have to buff up with your race against time, forward momentum, and shadowy disguise. Heavy attack into the ultimate, and then spec bow and whirling blades if required, or even an impale if you need to, but it should be sufficient with the spec bow on most targets. So it's a lovely two bar build. Again, you just buff up with them three skills on the back bar. Quickly swap into heavy attack, ultimate and spec bow with a whirling blades, which deals bonus damage with lower health. It's like an absolute truck. Hope you enjoy the build, guys. Drop this video a like, and I'll see you in the next one.